Burlington's New North End is coping with the flooding of the Winooski River too. A week ago, a sewer pipe that crosses underneath the river broke. Crews are at work in the neighborhood now installing a temporary replacement. And that is where we find ABC 22's Mike Hoey tonight. He joins us live from North Avenue where work will resume, of course, tomorrow morning. Lauren, yes, those workers have paused for the night here at the intersection with Northview Drive and Westward Drive. However, you can see uh, behind my left shoulder here, some of the pipe sections are here. Some of the equipment to install them is here. And the city's North Wastewater Treatment Plant is about a half mile from here. For the 10 to 14 days it'll take to lay down a mile of plastic sewer pipe, much of the new North End is under a conserved water notice. Neil Delaney lives on Saratoga Avenue and works at the Ethan Allen Shopping Center. Both are in the affected area. We just try not to flush, try not to run the dishwasher as often. Um, it's hard with the number of kids in the house, you know, you don't want <laughs> doing laundry and everything else, but um, really it's just the toilet thing that I think they're most concerned about. Karina Driscoll owns Butter Bar and Kitchen within the shopping center. Given uh, everything that is going on with flooding and smoke and uh, difficult times people are having, uh, it's not so hard for us to ask us to conserve our water a little bit. The 2018 mayoral candidate says the sewer pipe break has led to some changes. All leftover water from the glasses on customers' tables is being used to water their flower pots, and all their dishes are being rinsed in a sink basin instead of sprayed off. But we still have to mop, we still have to clean, we have to keep everything sanitary, so uh, we're just finding that balance where there's no compromise on sanitation. Delaney gives Burlington Public Works high marks for its efforts. He believes their people do a great job with the resources that they have. Or sometimes they don't have. Their communication's been really great, and it sounds like a, sound, a, a good plan. Uh, I guess my only concern would be like that, that temporary piping. Is that really going to be temporary? We'll have to see, right? DPW officials say they don't want this plastic pipe to be permanent, but they say they'll need time to evaluate their options once the emergency work is done. Well, at the time of the break, Lauren, DPW Director Chapin Spencer told us the rushing water likely either pushed an object into that sewer pipe or scoured the pipe with enough force to rupture it. Live in Burlington's new North End, Mike Hoey, ABC 22 News. Mike, the Intervale Center said nearly all of its crops were lost last